No matter if it's a parent, a sibling, or a friend, talking about loss with kids can be a tricky subject. Joining us now is author of Are You With Me? Corey Richens. A year after her husband Eric died, Corey Richens began a book tour promoting her children's book, which counseled children how to deal with grief. In an interview with ABC4, she explained what inspired her to write the book, Are You With Me? My husband passed away unexpectedly last year. My kids and I kind of wrote this book on the different emotions and grieving processes that we've experienced last year. Two months after this television appearance, Richens would be charged in connection to the death of her husband. Back in March of 2022, Corey called authorities to report her husband, Eric, was dead. A medical examiner would discover five times the lethal dosage of fentanyl in his system. According to Richens' statement to police, she made her husband a Moscow mule in celebration of Corey closing on a house for her business. She then slept with one of her children, and when she came back to her and Eric's bedroom, she said he was cold to the touch. An unnamed acquaintance claims to have sold Corey fentanyl. Eric Richens' family attorney spoke to Court TV about the case. They knew that uh, he didn't die of a drug overdose that he had caused himself. They knew that he was suspicious of Corey. And I think that there's some sense of, of relief right now. They finally put together what appears to be a very compelling case with evidence, with witnesses. According to court documents, prosecution believes Corey began plotting Eric's murder back in January of 2022 when she attempted to change his life insurance policy. Eric was notified and changed it over to his sister. Then on February of 2022, Corey contacted an unnamed acquaintance asking for some of that Michael Jackson stuff. And she received 15 to 30 fentanyl pills. Three days later, on February 14th, 2022, after Valentine's Day dinner, Eric became very ill and told a friend he believed Corey was trying to poison him. About two weeks later, Corey reaches out to her contact again, asking for more fentanyl pills. And on March 4th, 2022, Eric was found dead of a fentanyl overdose. He was moving money. He was uh, preserving his assets. He was doing what he could to take care of his boys. Um, she had changed uh, his the life insurance uh, uh, beneficiary. She had changed his business partner's uh, buy-sell agreement. She had done some things. He knew, he knew that something was going on. He alerted his family and he said, I think she's trying to kill me. And he even went so far as to say, if something happens to me, if something horrible happens to me, I want you to have Corey investigated. A year after Eric's death, locked in a $3.6 million estate battle with Eric's sister, Corey releases her children's book on grief. And a few months later, on May 8th, Corey is arrested and charged with criminal homicide and several counts of possession of a controlled substance. I just wanted some story to read to my kids. And it's just comforting to them to know that, you know, they're not living this life alone. Like, Dad is still here. It's just in a different way. Preliminary hearing coming up May 15th, Utah versus Corey Richens. But I've got another development tonight. Remember, he died of a fentanyl overdose. Okay? The victim died of a fentanyl overdose. What we have right now is from an affidavit for a search warrant of Corey Richens' mother's home. Okay? Here's what they found out about Corey Richens' mother. In investigating Corey Richens' associates, it was discovered that in 2006... Richen's mother, Lisa Darden, was living with an adult female with whom she was having a romantic relationship. In April of that year, her romantic partner died unexpectedly. An autopsy report of the female partner showed that her immediate cause of death was drug poisoning from an overdose of oxycodone. Further investigation showed that Lisa Darden had been named as the beneficiary of the partner's estate a short time before her death. So her mom's partner dies and she inherits the estate. In reviewing forensic downloads of Corey Richens' phone, it's clear she is very close with her mother, communicates with her almost daily, both for personal and business dealings. Based on Lisa Darden's proximity to her partner's suspicious overdose death and her relationship with Corey, 
it is possible she was involved in planning and orchestrating Eric's death. Wow. Now, Court TV has received a statement from Richen's attorney, uh, Sky Lazaro, who says, the fact that Ms. Darden's significant other was one of the millions that suffered from and ultimately succumbed to opioid addiction is hardly suspicious. It is tragic and unfortunately quite common. The fact that Ms. Darden was the beneficiary of her romantic partner's life insurance policy is also not unique. It only demonstrates that her circumstances are no different than most families in America. To suggest otherwise is nothing more than a baseless conspiracy theory. Let's bring back into the think tank Al Wunsch, Darnell Cross, and Jennifer Brandt. Darnell, your thoughts about this uh, revelation about Corey Richens' mom, um, and, and do you see it playing any role potentially in the case against Corey? Well, yeah. So today uh, in, in my conference room, um, we were going over uh, the material for the show tonight, and, and as we were reading these affidavits, I was screaming out, um, was that a uh, same-sex relationship? And uh, they were like, hold on, hold on. Kept going, you're right. Um, uh, uh, was there a plan to maybe kill the lover and maybe she got some stuff? Hold on, hold on, you're right. And then when we shifted over to um, uh, Corey, um, it seemed to be almost exactly uh, what she might have learned from her mother on all those many phone calls. So I'm going to vote for this is sort of like mother-like daughter. Um, and uh, she learned some tricks of the trade. And this does look highly suspicious, and I would certainly float it out there if I was the prosecution to show that it might have been not just a, a Moscow mule, but a mocking of her mom. Jennifer Brandt, your thoughts about this revelation here tonight from the affidavit? Well, it is suspicious, and it's it's it seems, yeah, there are a lot of people that have unfortunately succumbed to, you know, opioid abuse and have died from a drug overdose. But then to have it happen twice in a family and someone who was... I mean, clearly he was poisoned with fentanyl. They found it in his body. So it just seems very suspicious and coincidental, more than coincidental, that um, both of these incidences happen. And and Corey was looking to benefit from her husband's estate. Um, you know, he had he was on to her. He kind of knew that something was up and had changed, you know, and made a trust where his sister was the beneficiary. So she didn't get any money from him. But I think that's what she was looking for. And, and he kind of knew it. So it is um, eerily suspicious that uh, both of these uh, deaths occurred in this family. Three point six million dollars. Um, Eric Richens was very, very successful. Al Wunsch, do you think prosecution argues potentially that she was inspired by or conspired with? Inspired by no, mom gonna... or conspired with mom? Well, I, inspired by mom would not work, okay? Because, I mean, there's, she hasn't been charged. And, and this woman passed away, and she may have passed away legitimately. Right, but what I'm saying that... with the inspired by is, like, I'm thinking of a way that I could murder my husband and get away with it. Well, there was this tragedy that my mother suffered and maybe I suffered the same tragedy and people think it's just another drug overdose. Yeah, I don't think that. I, I mean, I think it's gonna be conspired and I think that the fact that the mother went on the uh, fence of the way she did, it just put the spotlight right on her, which was really not a great move. I mean, if you've got skeletons in the closet you keep the closet door closed you don't go on all the talk shows and start you know talking about how wonderful your daughter is and everything else along those lines the mother should have just kept her mouth shut and maybe that wouldn't have been brought up but you know under these circumstances it's just the coincidence is just way too overbearing uh and and everything sits down and it just it stinks from the head down so, I mean, I think that there's going to be a large problem for Corey. Um, I hope she sold a lot of books because she's going to need a lot of money to pay for those lawyers. Yeah, I don't think she sold a ton of them because it's just two months after this book came out is when she got arrested for the murder. So, anyhow. I, I did try to get it, Ben. I did try to get a copy, and it was taken off, it was taken taken off, off. the market. That's the problem.